Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to calculate or predict ion diffusion in crystalline solid. We will use the program. It's called PyAbstancia. This is actually Python-based program, and the calculation is based on BVS bond valence sum theory. This is actually not DFT calculation, but quite good to predict ionic diffusion. And the result somewhat is in agreement with the molecular dynamics or even DFT. And of course, there are some differences. So we will use Linux as the operating system. And we only need CIF file as an input file. And what we need to do first, we need to download and install the program as you can see here and this is the website for Abstancia and you can download here Okay, this is, is kind of the compressed file then you need to extract first okay so after you have this by Abstancia, next thing you need to install uh, Anaconda here you can get from this website and also we need to install PyMatGen ok first thing first we need to install by Abstancia after you download and then you, you extract the file and what you need to do you go to the directory here and then you can you can see here there is one file with build underscore lib dot sh this is a bash file so what you need to do to install you can use this this command build lib sh or bash build lib sh okay you can install this one so after that we can install anaconda first you need to download this file it depends on your operating system in this case we use linux so actually i use this uh, we download this one first and then you can install um, the anaconda yeah also using bash uh, command here and using bash file okay like this next we need to install the pymagen to install pymagen after, after we have conda in our system you can use conda install channel conda forge by my gen okay something like this now let's say we have already installed all the things then we can use pay absentia now I will show you we have uh, I will show you examples here we I will use lithium iron phosphate LIFPO4 here I already prepared the a CI file. So what you need to do, you have here payapps.py. This is the Python uh, file. Then you can just drag it here. Okay, and again, you can drag uh, followed by the CI file. This is the LIFPP04. So I got this CI file from the materials project uh, website. Okay now just uh, press enter so it will read this CIF file and then it will show um, some query input target ion so in this case we have lithium so we type li and then input the formal valence number of target ions lithium is plus one we can just type one and then input a number of species for counter ions. So in this case, we have uh, other ions than lithium, iron, uh, 
phosphorus and oxygen we have three count counter ions then three now input counter ion species one of three so first iron fe then we need to set the bond valence parameter here we can obtain from the database <coughs> you can obtain from here this is the website from the crystallographic data IUCR you can just click here BV Parm yeah this is all the the uh, database was for balance uh, for bone valence parameter so now for iron we're gonna use one seven one point seven three four zero point three seven and then input counter ion space yes two of three we have phosphorus we will use this parameters one six one seven and zero point three seven okay last one we have oxygen and the bv parameters 1.406 okay now for fox cells this is actually related to data point grid in the three-dimensional system so in this case i will use 160 50 okay now we can press enter okay so you can see now all the other files has generated uh, or generated and we can just wait sometimes until uh, the calculation is finished quite fast actually is compa compared to molecular dynamics or DFT and let's see and wait um. okay now we have you can see this dot uh, INP okay now we're waiting okay the pay grid the, with the extension of uh, pay grid now we have this final file okay now it's time to visualize using Vesta we can open our Vesta so this is I already loaded the CI file of um, LFP as you can see here so now we can go to this um, edit okay structure parameters okay volumetric data tab you can click here and then the, the ISO surfaces you can click import and now we can load this pay grid okay pay grid and then open okay just click OK we will not convert the unit okay and then click apply okay Okay, there's some uh, mistake. I put the LMO actually. We need to put the uh, LFP here, the P grid for LFP. Then okay, Let, we don't need to convert the data. And then okay, yeah. So we will get this. Now we uncheck the association for volumetric data. Okay 
then you can go to properties and uh, click the ISO surfaces tab and then you can adjust the level of this ISO surface and in this case we, I will set 0 0.6 okay yeah now we can edit the bond for nice visualizations okay then we can change to polyhedra and then also with the ionic type okay you can see here as you know that in lithium iron phosphate structure uh, lithium actually preferably uh, diffuses along the b-axis this is the b-axis okay but basically the as we can see here in the result the preferable path actually is parabolic not rather than the straight line okay although in b axis it's b axis but it follow the parabolic not straight this is to reduce the the electrostatic repulsion okay uh, so we can see here the one dimensional lithium ion diffusion path in in uh, LFP structure and for LMO LMN204 you can do the same way using pay absentia okay as you can see here you can just uh, drag this file the pyapps.py is python file followed by this uh, LMO CI file I also get this from materials project okay and then you can do the same thing and then you will get the same thing also the p grid uh, file now this is the, the examples of uh, LMO as you can see here it shows this three dimensional path the lithium diffusion path okay okay then you can also try with other structure for example the lithium intercalation compound and potassium sodium or any other zinc or aluminium you can you can try okay that's it thank you for your attention and see you next time